Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Crying Sons, I'm Demolius. So, uh, let's start this episode with a recap of everything that I've uh, met so far, because I was not really not prepared for that uh, last episode, especially considering I haven't really found a way to uh, talk to Caliban or anything like that, so I can't really uh, bring up all the uh, conversations that I've had and all the lore things uh, that I've found out so far. But uh, yeah, basically the setting is this, it's uh, in the far future, the, uh, the empire that, that we keep hearing references to is uh, 70 years old and I think it was uh, the founder of Emperor Oberon, who if, uh, if I understand most of the conversations is somewhat uh, you know, treated as messiah slash uh, god, like they're like, uh, what in the name of Oberon are you talking about and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, society has uh, been relying on uh, AIs such as Oberon and uh, basically have uh, forgotten how to, do, uh, to build things themselves. The AIs handle that. The AIs handle everything technology based, basically. And uh, as we learned out slowly 20 years ago, uh, the uh, all the AIs in the, well, at least the area that we are in, we don't know how, how far it uh, scatters. Presumably, throughout the entire empire, they collectively shut down. Now, I do already have a theory about that, because Oberon uh, explained uh, how their uh, how their programming works. Basically, they have a, a set of uh, parameters for what they are programmed uh, for, and if uh, and if they stray from that, they uh, they have a protocol uh, set in so that they shut down. So what I think happened that probably uh, the, their entire collective thought that they somehow uh, broken their programming and they shut themselves down. Something like that. Uh, we have met one colony where uh, two factions were fighting each other, and uh, basically it was impossible to, uh, to tell which side was in the right side. So the and we ran into a colony where, after five years, or seventy. 5% of the, the people died because the, uh, all of the technology that, uh, that disappeared. Uh, raiders have uh, appeared since uh, the empires have uh, well, been absent. Uh, they, they slowly started hunting uh, the empire down and uh, since uh, yeah, the uh, communications and the travel uh, networks have, have uh, failed, those, uh, the empire is basically uh, as far as we know, we're the only people from the Empire uh, around. That's basically what we're saying. We're the only ones enforcing the law and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. This uh, Neo and Pew is uh, harvested from uh, from suns. But when you go to a system, there's this uh, cube-like thing. Kind of like the thing before. But that, uh, that's uh, basically a refinery. That's why we can uh, harvest uh, Neo and Pew from those locations. Uh, this is a uh, well, it's a successful right here. It's a board shop, but it's uh, I think it's the only yeah, you only find them uh, after you've uh, uh, gone to a different system. So uh, let's see if there's something nearby where we can trade. Uh, there's kind of well, here's a shipyard there you can trade. This is nice, we can uh, scan a lot further since the upgrades that we got last time. So, uh, I would like to go to the shipyard, even though we don't actually have any money. So, actually, yeah, there's zero point in going there at the moment. So, um, in that case, let's take a look. See, uh, oh wait, before I say that, uh, let me see if I forgot anything to recap. Uh, the incoming alert is basically the uh, uh, what are they called again? The scrappers. Uh, figuring out that you're in the neighborhood and they start to hunt you down. And that's where I got the, the hardest fight from in the in the demo. And uh, I was herping surfing around too much. And uh, one of their one of their ships uh, caught up with me. And that fight was very brutal. Uh, I lost like uh, like the la like the last fight in the in the, the first episode, I lost like uh, the vast majority of my fleet, and you, in in that fight you actually don't gain anything. So that was pretty, pretty brutal. 
I do want to add one thing up the way before we uh, continue. I, I am really a bit, uh, not sure what the proper word is, but uh, I'd say disappointed that uh, different, there's such a massive diff uh, change of difficulty between the demo and the uh, and the actual game, because that uh, really set you on the, on the back foot when you when you go uh, through the demo like I did, oh, oh, this is a nice game, and then you, you get the game and it's suddenly 10 times as difficult. I don't mind difficulty, but where you just have had a uh, demo, it's kind of a kick in the balls. Now, I have my little bit of tantrum uh, about the difficulty, I think we're gonna go this way. Because I think we get uh, the most uh, sensor damage. Uh, let's see, we have six fuel, so we get. So we lose four over here. And we get. We lose four over here. So that's eight. However, we gain at the very least two by uh, scanning here. So for fuel wise, we should be good. And hopefully. By the time we get to that uh, mercenary outpost, I think that's uh, a place where you can sell stuff as well. Oh, there's one over here. Okay. And, um, no anomalies here. So. But yeah, okay. Let's just uh, get started now because we're already uh, past the time of the month. I don't know who these church people are. Oh, so these church people worship uh, the Omnis as uh, that he's an Omni. Either walking into a trap or, uh, yeah. Or what they're telling us is true, I'm not sure. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, okay, I'm never trusting uh, people <laughs> in this game again. Fucking hell. So, uh, yeah, it is a dystopian future uh, after all. I think we'll find this one already. Okay, so uh, we only have six commandos, so I'm not sure if we can uh, go to the down the planet. Let's take a look. Hmm. Rogue automated. Yeah, nope. And yeah, both of these things uh, say before we have all the random shit that we're going to lose all our. Uh, all our commandos? Yeah, no, fuck that shit. And we get some. Let's go to 
drones and drones. Okay, uh, so having the frigate out made up me the best of ideas. Let's see if we can give the, uh, the cruiser another shot. I do think we uh, very mismanaged him last time. I mean, it has no melee. And, uh, with the speed that uh, these things move, you kind of... set up a waypoints if you hold control but I'm not holding control so I'm not quite sure what, what's going on what the hell save for this one him from my I want to remove him <sighs> Wow finally Now it's not the, the, the function thing where it's the where it's function where you're trying to do. Oh wait a minute. Something I also forgot last episode. I gotta upgrade that they, if they sit next to our ship there they get the repair. So this should be being repaired. No, yes. Here's all squadrons adjacent to the hull integrity. Oh, just the hull integrity. Yes. It's that one. And that's pretty beat up. Alright. Healing is very slow though. I do mean bloody slow. You can have a health point.
Yeah, or these things also exploding when they die. Get your fucking side. Okay, they can't get healed past their uh, start. Okay, then that thing has no melee. Uh, okay. I don't want... The idea is that you support them, but take, take a look at how fucking fast they take damage. It's utterly ridiculous. At, 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 rephrase it. At the start of this game, it's utterly ridiculous. These things are beyond useless. Oh, that's this. Okay. I have seen it happen a few times before, but I think... I think that's this. I really didn't take a look at it. yet for everybody I have no bloody clue what I'm doing <laughs> beat them but it, uh, we, we lost one of our uh, well we didn't lose them they were patched which basically means they don't get uh, more than half their health I think we're done here, yep. Sometimes you have to uh, keep in mind that it's a dystopian future, like with the, uh, the, the kids. He looks healthy. Probably gonna fly into the star. Okay. Let's scavenge some. Uh, two enemies. 
new ant fuel. Very good. For fuck's sake. suffering and not do much else. Uh, I have noticed that sometimes when you do an act of kindness you can get a reward like a, a weapon or some cash in reward. So, uh, in this case we have enough fuel. So. Probably I would have gotten a reward if I did lie to them, I'm assuming here. Yeah, okay. I don't think we're gonna get far with six commanders, honestly. The major risk of a sandworm. Extract 96 and 100% of the resources and only lose 0 and 6. I, I can spot a trap when I see one. I think there was a... Uh, most thing I was, yeah. Let's grab a few more commandos because I want to send a full party. But it does sound, you know, really interesting. in the best of uh, conditions to be uh, taking on too many risks. Okay, so there are off interesting officers. Let's take a look see. Uh, let's start if there's anything we can sell. Not really, and we got 60... So we're coming here for commando, so let's grab those first. In fact, let's go with the commandos, do that mission, and then, then come... Wait, doesn't that... I just realized, I think that uh, sucks up your fuel. Okay. I might have done the oopsie. Yeah, we already visited, but we didn't do the... Uh, Let's do that now. Not sure why we have to scan again, considering we already did so, but sure. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's see if the game delivers on their promises. Somehow I don't believe it will, but let's see. I think here we got the mission. Okay, so it's avoided. Military base. Very secret if we know about it. Oh, sweet, we got ourselves a new gun. Okay. Or could be a squadron of uh, planes actually. Uh, sandworm, oh shit. I'm getting a um, deja vu from, uh, Ju from June. <laughs> Oh, sweet! I think we just uh, got an officer out of it. What the 
fuck? Oh, you are bloody kidding me. Jesus Christ. A lot of fucking bullshit. Okay, whatever. Let's carry on. Oh, and it was going so well. Okay, so they have to wait until they can uh, deploy their things. And uh, we're not suffering from a uh, acute case of uh, asteroids anymore. what the hell Seems we disabled their squadrons. Very nice. Okay, I'm not sure how that worked. Let's continue focusing on the squadrons because so long as we keep them uh, disabled, they can fight and do something. No, 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 no. Gonna repair. No oh, wait. We sent them back. They can prepare the machine as well. Right, right. 
That knockback is so bloody annoying. I think we just saved the third. Okay, I guess not. You're going back, by the way, because in case something spawns, so you're gonna be in a world. You're gonna have some issues. Cruiser, cruiser. Ooh, holy shit! Zoop, 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 zoop. What? They are fucking fast. Gang up on him. Oh. oh shit. Get some more drones. So, my best bet is that our next wave is gonna be fighters. We got a, a Mark II drone, nice. Let's take a look what this drone Mark II does. Shredder. A damaging enemy battleship, stick up to 14 scrap per fight. Hmm. Okay. What's this? I think this is a new one as well. Or is it just undamaged? I think it's just undamaged. All right. Let's take a look. Let's go to the mercy harbor so we can heal our uh, fucking officer. So they didn't have birth control, or rather the Omnis directed that for them. So we don't got the scientist to fix it. future. So, uh, is we don't really have scrap to spare, so, that they just, you know, giving us the option, so apparently seven scrap is enough. <laughs> uh. Okay. Press F to tab. Mark 
easy solution would be to, I don't know, send some of our, their people to our ship, I guess, but... So, I really hate this. There are some officers that I want to get, but... Can't afford the healer, Jesus. Um, okay, we got a, a Mark II sh drone now, so let's sell one of the Mark ones. So, we can afford the healer. Uh, so, we got 10 commandos now, so we got uh, enough for a full group. Let's see if there's something more that we can sell. So this we don't have any weapons at all, so what does this do? This helps us regenerate our ships uh, a lot faster, we don't want to sell that either. But as much as I'm hating on the cruiser, I do think it's uh, a power ship to keep, so let's hold on to it as well. Uh, yeah, I really don't see us being able to, uh, to sell anything else, so. as much as it pains me. I think we're gonna have to wait until a later date until we uh, got uh, chances to uh, get some more um, officers. Major friends, that's nice. Okay, so we are more likely to lose commandos. A lot, actually. But we are also more likely to extract resources. Hmm. You know, at this point, we need resources. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. In the previous time, in the previous uh, expedition, it, it said we wouldn't lose any uh, at all, and uh, we got fu fucked in the ass as well. So you know. Okay, we got some. Ooh, nice green. But I'm not uh, cheering before uh, all these resources are back on our ship. Seventy feet scrap. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell, that extraction point. Holy shit, that was a costly uh, endeavor. That's it. I do think uh, the scrap is worth it. And uh, even if we buy back the, uh, the commandos that we lost, we're still. Uh, well, we still earn something there. In fact, I think we can get an officer of that. Um, okay, I'm thinking here. I think there were 75. Now oh, add 60. Uh, we can get an officer and five uh, commandos with that, so uh, let's do that. Let's take a look what we got for uh, for officer here. So we got something uh, for the guns and we got something for the hull, but we don't got anyone for uh, for this tactical targeting. Wait a minute. Oh. 
Yeah, we are we are missing someone for squadrons. So this would help with squadrons. They would increase our DPS by 15%, which is amazing. But the skills are some that we already have now. You know what, let's go for it, so at, at the very least we have an officer for every subsystem. And let's get five There we go. What the hell is that? We don't need that, but we have zero scrap, so... Uh, no. Okay, I can live with that. Yeah, well, tough luck, I am. No scrap. <laughs> yeah, could be like you know, if you don't have any scrap to scrap. No anomalies and an uh, army depot and uh, a location. Um, it's a tough one. Both of these have two uh, anomalies. This one has a shipyard. You know what? L let's go to these two locations and visit the shipyard last. People are really hot on our heels. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Oh, I just right. So, what are they bringing for the first uh, cruiser, frigate, fighter? Let's see. Hmm. We are going to be using these asteroids like a bunch of bitches. Let's take a look where they are sending their and their ships. Because these frigates and these cruisers are very slow while the fighters are very fast. I mean drones are fast as ships uh, still. You know, let's intercept them so that they're not in the asteroid field. We are sending these drones to intercept that cruiser. Trigger close, yeah. Good against. No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, now get them. But how the fuck did they pull those fighters in? Swarm them. The gun is almost Oh look, holy shit, look, look. 
just noticed that now while we saw the, uh, the heat build up. Let's pull them back. So they don't get uh, attacked or something. What are they sending now? Frigate? Cruiser? Frigate? Right. I think that's the same thing. Oh, what the hell? How the hell did that thing get there? Fuck, we have to blow up the asteroids. Fighters, those are strong against drones. Did they have four things on the field? Yeah, we just killed this one. Two, three. What the fuck? They only got three things listed. Boogie. and we have a frigate. A cruiser of our own. The wall was powerful against frigate, I think, right? Yep. Okay, you guys. Oh, oh, no, no. Drones. You know, sure. And we stole the 14 from him as well. Ah! Nice. Okay, that was a very nice fight. And I'm slowly getting the hang of using your squadrons. Let's make that uh, the March of the drones. And that's the. Uh, Look over here. <laughs> what a sexy effect is gonna be my sexy effect. Yeah, okay. Um ba -ba -ba -ba. thing itself doesn't seem to have anything but our drones incoming um, drones were powerful against frigates right. frigates so we don't want to bring any frigates because they'll get their asses uh, blown on, uh, out underneath them. I'm not quite sure how this is done, but it's gonna work, but I think we have to attack them as fast as possible. Considering in 17 seconds we're gonna be sworn by enemies. I think that's gonna be in these spots. Oh, fuck, that's fine. No. Send the Mark 1 after those guys. Oh, yep, fuck. Did it go more reinforcements to come and go? Yeah, this one is smart bonus, yep. Fuck. 
Right. Attack. Go. Oh. All right. Attacking them as fast as possible worked out. And not using those frigates uh, also worked out. Shipyard. Then I think we're ready for the uh, the exit of this uh, sector. about this is that you can't decide which one will become patched and I don't think I need to heal any of my officers at the moment <laughs> oh we can repair here nice actually they don't know that that would have been useful information up front You can actually buy systems here, and I assume that they're going to be more cheap than they are here. Oh wait, th 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 these are uh, auxiliary systems. I think that they're selling. Yeah, auxiliary systems. What is the armor all about? The last whole bar is immune to battleship weapon damage. Oh, damn, that's actually pretty nice. But we haven't really. Oh crack! Weapon reload time minus twenty percent. Holy shit, that's nice. I think you don't really got much in the ways of things that we can sell. I mean, we can sell this one. Because while it does twice the damage as this one, this one only works on, uh, on enemy battleships. And I like the versatility that this one gives. So let's sell. I mean, we're still missing 90... Uh, Crap for this one, though. Uh, yeah. So, what can we get here? Holy shit, these have two abilities. Teleport the unit to its destination. Cannot use regular. Out the sort of teleporting thingy that uh, stuns things in uh, adjacent uh, tiles. That's interesting. And this is a frigate that does what? All within range enemy units are forced to target the squadron. So it's a tank. That's that's interesting. I think it's only interesting if you like drop it in the middle of a field of uh, fighters and you tear those fighters a new one, but I have the feeling that its health is going to go down very, very, very rapidly. So, okay, let's do this. We prepare our existing squadrons. Mm. We can get two commandos, so let's grab those. Do we need more fuel? Uh, let's take a look at that. Now we are done here, right? So. Uh, this is going to require four, and um, that's what we got, and we're going to be able to harvest things at the star, and then we're going to move to the uh, the end boss. That, uh, I've had one uh, in the previous episode, and in the demo it was also every time you reach the exit you get a boss fight, so uh, I'm just going to assume that this is a boss fight, and then you, uh, if you win the fight you get a massive amount of scrap, and you can upgrade your ship uh, and repair your losses. So, okay, so we don't need end fuel. And I don't know how useful this is going to be. Basically what this thing does is it prevents the enemy battleships from destroying the last of your hull, hull bar. And you don't get uh, propagate. Does that mean that it expands? Or I don't know. 
and English is a bad native language in case anyone hasn't noticed yet. Uh, I don't think this, this is really bloody interesting though, but it will reset our uh, scrap again. But you know what? Fuck it. Seems like a nice upgrade to have, so let's go for it. Every time I see these things, I have to uh, remind myself that they're not board cubes. Oh, nice. Good you have. So, I, I like that with uh, these upgrades, you're always guaranteed to have at least one end view. It's nice to have at least some gear. <laughs> oh, we're getting so much fights. Oh, great. Let's see. Yeah, boomers, that means that they... Kamikaze when they die, great. And my bloody headset is out of power, really. Okay, um, I'm going to charge my headset for a while, so I'll be right back. It says it's been charging for an hour now, so it should be uh, should be able to work for a bit. So I noticed that there are turrets right out all over this. Uh, I'm going to assume here that these are uh, hostile. It would be a bit weird if these are going to be helping us. I really don't assume that they're going to be doing that, but... Um, yeah, I think these have the, the same weakness that cruisers have, by the looks of it. They can't do melee damage. So, I think... We're gonna have to deal with these things first. At the very least, I think it's a good idea to deal with these things first. So, what are they sending our way? Two kamikaze drones and a fighter. Let's go with two groups of drones. To deal with these turrets and the strong of the frigates. Yeah, but these things are strong against frigates, right. Um, let's go with a fighter. Considering they got uh, two groups of drones, the fighters are gonna it's gonna eat them for breakfast. What we're going to be doing, so this drone is going to be eating him, this one is going to be eating him, and he's going to be standing here. Oh, wait, that's uh, standing here. So none of these turrets can actually fight back at them. This fighter is going to eat, eat him up quickly, and then these turrets should be dealt with. Oh, another thing that I noticed it says. Left click to select when available. But I thought these abilities were passives. Because I positioned these ships here, and as far as I could tell, they were actually, you know, healing. But I guess, uh, I guess not. All right, let's go. You eat, eat that bastard up. Got out fast drones are. Okay, 
Okay, when I look, click on it, it actually like opens up the uh, thing, so... Okay, so I'm not sure if these things are or are not passive abilities, I have difficulty finding out. Did we just lose an entire squad? No, they did. Yeah, see they are healing. Okay, um... Pulling them back in before everything is uh, completely fucked. Oh shit. Nope. <laughs> okay, that was a nice one. Okay, they are all recuperating. Frigates. Okay, so I know it got the firepower to quickly over, uh, overrun their defense. They're completely fucking up our Maybe it's because we have too many things that are still level 1. I do think that's a uh, part of the problem. Yeah, they don't seem to be spawning in more reinforcements. It's all empty now, but I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Let's quickly spawn in drones. So we can swarm in fast. Okay, maybe he just got sick and tired of it or something. The squadrons are used to it. Ah, finally. Yeah, wrecked. Great. So I think I'm gonna cut like most of that fight away because it. <laughs> wow. have one squadron that's in disrepair at the moment, and that's the one that we just got. So paying 50 at the moment would uh, kind of be stupid. I mean, if all of our ships were in disrepair, yeah, but they're on. So, time for the big fight. Next episodes, I'm going to be uh, keeping to half an hour chunks because one sector at a time is, yeah, takes over an hour. <laughs> uh, in the demo, you got a, a cutscene with uh, Mom here. Wait, did I talk about Mom at the start of the episode? I actually don't recall. But Mom is tired of action here. Which is a very bloated 
woman of some description. I'm not entirely sure what a great she's supposed to be, but yeah. Okay, so they got drone fighter. No. Fighters of our own. Let's take one frigate to deal with uh, the fighters. And let's take uh, the level 1 drone to hopefully tie down the, uh, the drone when they try to tackle our uh, frigates. So I don't think our fighters can actually settle. What? Okay, th these are fighters. Oh wait, they're fighters and drones. What? They got fucking five squadrons. What? Why are only three listed here? Okay, you, you know what? Fucking whatever. Okay, so we can get the recap here. So we got something for our priority list. Get something better than fucking tier one uh, squadrons, because they goddamn bloody suck. Okay, I thought I completed chapter one. Oh wait, I completed the first sector. All right. Okay, I've decided which ones to take, and that's gonna be these two. And this guy applies to all of the. Uh, individual uh, critical uh, systems which is bloody and bloody amazing and piloting and uh, fights is a nice combination to have for this guy and uh, this one because uh, well I honestly I don't think this is a good one but it might just be that I'm not using it well or something like that maybe it becomes better later on I don't know but I feel the uh, yeah, have more uh, well, squadrons in my company. But uh, Jesus Christ, what does this game really bloody annoy me with its combat sometimes? But honestly, it was my own mistake for only having uh, tier 1 uh, squadrons in uh, the uh, Secretary of <laughs> Boss Fight. Yeah, that, uh, that simply didn't cut it. And uh, we've seen that. So uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. 